Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the linear algebra topic matrices, we are going ahead with eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and we are dealing here with repeated eigenvalue part two. Question is: This is three cross three matrix given to us, and find the eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and base for eigenspace. The Cartesian equation is given to us as lambda cube minus summation of a i i lambda square plus summation of m i i into lambda minus determinant of a is equals to zero. So as usual, what we are doing it so far, we are trying to find out this, we are trying to find out this, and we are trying to find out this. Put the values here, and we'll be getting the equation. So what is summation of a i i will gives us the the sum of the diagonal elements, which is two over here. Summation of m i i we got it as one. You can refer the previous uh, sessions. Where I have explained everything in detail from this I button, then determinant also we have got it. And after putting this here, we are going to get the Cartesian equation of this particular matrix as lambda cube minus two lambda square plus lambda. As the determinant we got it as zero. We do not have any constant term here. Moving ahead, that means what are the eigenvalues we got it here in this case? We got the eigenvalues as zero comma one comma one. So you can check with the uh, uh, note number three and four. This zero plus one plus one is two, which is the sum of eigenvalues. And this product of zero into one into one will gives us zero. That is the determinant of a eigen. This is the de determinant of a matrix. That means what? This zero comma one comma one. These eigenvalues are correct. Then for this zero comma one comma one, we got one repeated value. Let us find out the eigenvector corresponding to this lambda equals to one. So we have got this corresponding to this uh, a minus i into x is equals to zero. That means we will be getting after subtract subtracting only the diagonal elements of these two matrices, we'll be getting it this matrix. Then going ahead because as this is a uh, eigen value as a one, which is a repeated value. And therefore, by using the row equation form, we are going to get this as. So, what what we are trying to make it? We are trying to make or convert this matrix into an equation form. So, we are trying making use of this R2 row, and we are trying to make this first and the third row as zeros because you can see that it's three two and it's minus six minus four minus six minus four. So, using this R2 row, we can make this R1 and R3 zero at one go. Therefore, we have taken, we have chosen this as the transformation, as a true transformation. Then, just by shifting R one two, we are going to get this as an equilon form. Now, if you observe here, we have got the rank of a matrix A, which is a number of non-zero rows in equilon form, that is R equals to one. So, we got it here only one, one uh, non-zero row, that is zero three two, and therefore the rank of a matrix is coming out to be one, which is small r. And what are the number of variables here? Number of variables are x, y, z. That is three, and therefore the number of parameters, which is number of linearly independent vectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equals to one, is equals to n minus r. That is three minus two is equals to two. So that means we are going to get it here two different vectors which are linearly independent. But we do not we do not have those many number of equations. We have only one equation with us, and that's the reason this is a parameter here. So two number of parameters. So that means what we have to assume two any two values out of this x, y, and z. Now here we uh, if we have because we have got zero with this x, we have to assume the value of x here. Otherwise we will, we are not going to go ahead with a proper way. That's the reason we have to assume x is equals to some t1, z is equals to some t2. Otherwise why we could have done that y is equals to t1 or z equals to. So we have a choice here. But here in this case, only because of we have got the coefficient of x as zero, we have to assume the value of x in this case. So we are assuming x is equals to t1, z is equals to t2. Then from here we are going to get y is equals to. So we are going to get y is equals to minus of two by three times t2. Again, please note it here. Whatever the values we are assuming, suppose for example here we have assumed x is t1 and z is t2, we are going to get the value as y as this. this. If we are assuming the value of y and z, we are going to get the different vector. And just by putting these values here, so x is x, y, z, x is t1, y is minus 2 by 3 times t2, and z is t2. Then we can rewrite this particular thing as equals to. So this first is for t1, this another is for t2. That means what we have got t1 zero zero plus zero minus two by three t2 and t2. So if we add these two matrices, you are going to get the same matrix what we have got it here as this. 
that is the reason we have just splitted this up here uh, as the t1 and t2 and you can say that if you will take a t1 out then we will remain here with x2 which is the eigen space or basis for this and then another one is this x3 would be uh, actually it's x1 and x2 because we have not yet solved this another one so it's x1 and x2 would be the basis for the another vector and that means what we got it has x1 1 0 0 as a basis x2 as 0 minus 2 by 3 as a and 1 which is nothing but x1 and x2 forms a basis for the eigen space corresponding to lambda equals to 1 again please note it down whatever the values or whichever the values we are assuming here you are going to get this this basis as different you can easily check that because it's one over here and it's one over here that means what we have assumed here the value of x and we have assumed here the value of z as one okay then for lambda equals to zero it's very simple because it's a non-repeated value that means we can easily go for the Kramer's rule and we can get the values as the or you can say the 2 minus 1 and 2 or otherwise you can say that the basis it's getting formed as 2 minus 1 and 2 with this t so x3 forms a basis for the eigenspace corresponding to lambda equals to 0 let us go and see one more type of example of a similar kind i'll just go quickly for this type of thing so summation of aii summation of mii and 3 so we are going to get the characteristic equation as lambda cube minus lambda square minus 5 lambda minus 3 equals to 0 and we are getting the eigen values as lambda equals to minus 1 minus 1 and 3 you can pause the video try to after this example i have displayed the example pause the video try to get a, a summation of aii summation of mii determinant and this and reach to this point then run through the video and cross check your answers so no doubt we have got minus 1 as repeated 3 as non repeated so let us go for the minus 1 again i'm going again it's a plus i why because it's a minus of lambda times i lambda in this case is minus 1 and that that's the reason it is a plus i we have got it just we have to do the diagonal additions and then we are we are going to get this as a uh, this matrix as the one now our target is to reduce this matrix into an equilon form just again we are doing the same thing we are making use of r1 and we are trying we are uh, making this r2 and r3 0 at one go so it, this this type of uh, choosing this type of transformation will reduce your number of steps and therefore you can easily check that we have only one non-zero row here and that's the reason we have got the small r or you can say a rank of a matrix is equals to one that means what we have got the number of parameters number of linearly independent vectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equals to minus one as two that is n minus r three minus one is equals to two the same thing now you can you can say that this second example i have taken it because we do not have any zero coefficient in this equation now it's it's up to us what value we are assuming we can assume here the value of x we can assume here value x and y y or y and z or x and z so we can assume any of them and you are going to get the different vector according to that so what what we have done it here please note this down whenever we are putting y is equals to t1 and z equals to t2 in this particular equation here you will get this x is equals to 1 by 2 times t1 plus 1 by 2 times t2 in the previous question we had this x only in terms of t2 but here it's a combination of both of them so if we'll have this type of example uh, this type of combination you can do it very well how can we do that so it's 1 by 2 times t1 plus 1 by 2 times t2 will get splitted into two as i have told you this is for the t1 this is for the t2 column matrix so this half t1 t1 0 half t2 0 t2 and you will observe here you can easily form the basis for this so x 1 by 2 1 0 and 1 by 2 0 1 these are the two different bases for this lambda equals to minus of 1 and we can easily check that and we can just write it in this way fine for lambda equals to 3 the same thing i'll just go through it because it's a Kramer's rule 3 is non-repeated and we can make use of any two um, this rows or two equations go for the Kramer's rule get the values and you will get the spaces here in this way so basis for this very this particular lambda equals to 3 is x3 which is 1 1 2 okay and this is self observation slide you can easily check 
this the three matrices along with the three answers of this uh, of them you can check that this five the vector is one two minus one for minus three there are two and you can easily check whether they, whenever there is a one i have assumed those values that means in the first case i have assumed the equation the value of that but from that equation the value of y and z here you can check that y and z and here this 1 1 minus 1 1 so you you just have to understand that what would be the value over here so it's 4 1 1 okay so if at all any doubt please write me in the comment section please be connected happy learning